Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. This is Sapna here. Hope you all are doing well. In today's video, I'll be playing around with some limited shades on my palette to get this very unique and antique finish artwork. Before getting started, if you are new here, please consider joining the small creative family by pressing that subscribe button. If you are a beginner in glass painting, I would definitely recommend you to watch few of my previous glass painting videos to get familiarized with the materials and the paints that I will be frequently using in my paintings. I will be painting on an OHP sheet using glass painting technique. You can also use glass or perspex for the same painting. And I am using a range of Pebio Vitrail paints for this. You can also use any other branded paints according to the availability. I have drawn a simple design on a paper and now I will be transferring that design onto the OHP sheet using a black liner from Pebio. I prefer to start the outlining from top to bottom or from one side to another. To get uniform lines you need to press the tip of the liner with the uniform pressure. Once the lining part is finished, I let it dry thoroughly before adding the paints. I am aiming for a really contemporary finish for this painting so I will be using very limited colors. To begin with, I am using crimson shade from Pebio Vitrail to paint this poppy and I will paint the other two poppies using white and grey. I'll use a darker purple shade to give some values in certain portions of the petals. For smaller designs like this, I prefer to spread the paint evenly using a toothpick or a skewer. For the background, I'm planning to mix two shades that is Pebio Vitrail Grey and Pebio Moon Veil of Smoke. I'm using Pebio Lightning Medium in order to get a very lighter consistency of this paint. Here I am mixing the background grey shade with Pebio Moon Veil of Smoke shade. The moon shades from Pebio will give a beautiful and unique looking matted metallic finish. Now for this portion I will apply grey shade and will mix it with golden and also Pebio Moon Golden shade.
to the background grey shade with a small piece of sponge I'm just dabbing the moon golden shade to create this uniform metallic effect now to color these two poppies I'm just adding transparent white shade from Pebio Vitral and I'll create a shade of grey in certain portions of the flowers Once the painting is finished, I'll just add few more details to the flowers and also highlight the stems. Now I'm moving on to add certain details to this painting and this portion is completely optional and you can feel free to add any other details to elevate this painting. Since it has a really antique finish in the background, I'm planning to add some musical notes. I'm using a copper shade from Marabou Glass Art brand. This was a completely spontaneous element in this painting and it's a freehand design. To elevate these musical notes, I'm just adding few more dots to these outlines. And this is how our finished painting is looking. The bright crimson shade is definitely the focal point of this antique background. To complement this painting, I'm planning to keep this in a white box frame. This will definitely be a unique piece of art and also a gorgeous wall decor. So please do try it out and feel free to tag me once you upload the pictures on your social media platforms. I would love to see your creations. And this is how it will look on a white box frame with a white matte border. I hope you all enjoyed watching this video. If you did, please don't forget to like, comment and share this video. And if you are new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and press that bell icon so that you will get all the notifications once I upload new interesting and unique arts and crafts videos. Thank you so much.